Thought Catalog, Dear Men, this is why single women are sick of you. Only single women, by the way, not, not women in relationships. They're not sick of you, just the single ones. Ones in relationships, they can't get enough of you. They love you to death, no matter what. <laughs> well, this is a, an older article from 2016, but uh, I came across it and I was like, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> gotta share this with my audience. It's, it's great. <laughs> Dear men, no thank you. Yeah, I said it, and I'll explain. Um, no, 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 no thank you. Please, if uh, you're going to start off your conversation with no thank you to my entire gender, you specifically, no, we're not even having this conversation. <laughs> oh, let's see what else she has to say here. Before we do, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure that you're still subscribed because YouTube doesn't subscribe people every single day. You can find me over on Rumble and on Twitter. And by the way, stick around for the palate cleanser. It's like something that's super fun. It's like something out of a James Bond movie. Now let's dive in here. I am uninterested in casual sex with you. Well, I'm uninterested in casual sex with you too. So, hey, we're on the same playing field now. No thank you. Again, the no thank you. All right. There is no appeal to nail to the nail biting waiting for a text message since we all know a phone call is off the table after you sleep with me. Uh, yeah, whose fault is that? If I call a girl after we've done the deed, she doesn't answer and I never hear from her again. If I text a girl, there's a, a good chance I'm going to hear back from her. If the girl calls me or texts me, then hey, everything's going to work out, <laughs> at least uh, in the near future. There is nothing delicious about hoping that you give a shit or having to play it cool because I do give a shit. Well, maybe it's the men you're going after. I don't know. I mean, this, I care about women. I actually want to have relationships with them. It's kind of the way I am. But if I express that to you, then all of a sudden, you're gone. So are you sure that you understand how the game is played here? Because you're the ones who set up the rules. I just kind of do whatever I got to do to be with you. I want to go on dates. Yes, dates, not hangouts. This distinction is important because a hangout could mean that we're going to go walk around the mall like we did at 14 when our moms were our, our only means of transportation. A hangout implies that we're bros. I have enough friends, sir. No, thank you. <laughs> Ironically, uh, I did go on a date that was walking around the mall, and that's what the girl wanted to do. Not That was not my idea. She's like, let's go hang out at the mall. I'm like, okay. Pretty weak, but all right. You want to go on dates? Well, do you want to go like on an actual, like, let's hang out and get to know each other date, doing something fun, or do you want to be wined and dined? Because... I'm not interested in spending a bunch of money and time with somebody who's going to use me for food, for drinks, whatever, for a night on the town. Do you want to go do something or do you just want to go get dinner and have me, you know, spend $50, $100 on you so you can eat? When you say you want to take me on a date, I know you're taking it seriously and, and that I'm not going out with some 19-year-old kid, which wasn't appealing even when I was 19. Oh, so you like older men then? Hmm. And so this leaves the 19-year-old men where? Especially the ones who are serious and want a relationship. And, you know, you're 19. Obviously, he's not going to be an ideal pick for a woman because he's 19. He hasn't built himself up yet to be the financial powerhouse you want him to be. But if, if you're 18 and he's 19, you know, maybe that's a good match at the time. I don't know. I'm just, just tossing that out there. I want you to ask me out a few days before and plan something. I want you to put some effort into dating me. I don't need flowers, but God damn it, some sign that you care would be nice. Okay, what what is? Can you define what signs show that I care? Because that might be what's tripping you up. I mean, is is asking you out a few days in advance and planning something is that a sign that I care about you? Is that what this comes down to? I don't know. I mean, I, I can't read minds. I know women think that men can read minds, but I can't. Now, this is written in big letters, bigger than all the other letters in the article. I want to be honest. Whoa, scary. I know. Here's the thing. We are both adults. I don't need you to tell me what you think I want to hear. Um, are, you, are you sure about that? I think you do need me to tell you what uh, I think you want to hear. No, thank you. Again, the no, thank you. I can call my mom and have her tell me I'm pretty if I really need to hear it. Okay, this woman is psycho. I can't compliment you. I thought, I thought you needed a sign that I actually care about you. Now you're saying you don't need a sign that I care about you. What, what is going on here? I don't understand. 
the idea that you feel like you need to tell me you okay that's not right and right uh, the idea that you feel like you need to tell me something you don't believe just so you can get in my pants is ridiculous if i want to sleep with you i will it's totally that simple of course because can we say it together proper roto dealer yeah, this is uh, the dynamic that you have created here in your dating life, and you're wondering why it is that men aren't giving you what you want. Maybe you go like, yeah, if I want to sleep with you, I'm going to actually postpone that because I want to see if we are compatible long term. Problems are all solved. I don't need to hear some long rambling speech about how incredible you think I am when in reality you're just trying to bust a nut. Maybe he really thinks you're all incredible. I mean, I don't... And also, you're, again, you're contradicting yourself. You don't want him to... You want him to call you the next day, but oh, no, don't give me some... No, no, don't don't, don't communicate with me. Don't communicate your feelings. Don't share your feelings. I don't want to hear any of this, this stuff. Just, what? Will you make up your mind? I would rather know up front what you're interested in. If we go out and you don't want to see me again, brace yourself because this is hard to understand. Don't tell me that you do. What kind of men are you dating who tell you they want to see you again when they don't want to? Okay. I don't go out with women I don't want to see. It's that simple. Like, hey, if I don't like you, I'm not going to see you again. It's that simple. There have been women that I've liked that I'm like, yeah, this isn't going to work. So I'm not going to see you again. Not that I don't like you, but I can tell that this isn't going to be a viable situation long term for whatever reason. Believe it or not, women don't want to be lied to. Oh, wow. Shocking. Except that they do want to be lied to. They do want to uh, be told by Chad that they're amazing and that, you know, he wants to be with them, that, you know, he would change his ways to be with her, even though he would never do that. I'm not going to tell you some fairy tale story about how wonderful you are if I don't think it. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't want you to lie to me, but you want men to lie to you. That's what I'm saying here. Women want the butterflies in the stomach, no matter what cost. Oh my God, you make $250,000 a year? Oh, oh, yeah, you want to hear that because then you'll fall in love with Chad. Please don't freak out if I want to talk to you. I like you. Stop panicking. Uh, yeah, so what kind of men panic when a woman wants to talk to them? If you don't like me back, see above. Okay, whatever. I don't know which above. There's so many things above. <laughs> It's okay if we talk. It's okay if you want to talk to me or want to see me again. Don't wait until it's too late to decide you want me. Yeah, um, maybe you shouldn't play around, play, play the field so much. I, I, what I'm thinking is maybe she's like out seeing a whole bunch of different men and then, oh, the one guy that she really wants, well, he never got around to saying, hey, let's be together because you were playing it casual and then you ended up with some other guy and then he's like, well, no, I, I, I want us to be more serious. Well, maybe don't play it casual. Maybe date one guy and try to lock him down. I was seeing this guy for a while a couple years back and we did the whole playing it cool and casual sex thing off and on for almost a year. Well, he did. I had no issue being like, hi, I like you. I hope that's okay. I knew he liked me back. Honestly, we were a good match, but he waited until he moved 3,000 miles away to admit to having feelings for me. So this is, must be that 19-year-old guy that you didn't want to date, I'm guessing. Who is this woman? Oh, she's anonymous, so I can't figure anything out about her. I'm guessing she's anonymous because she's probably 40 and been playing these games for the last 25 years and can't figure out why she can't find love. What's even more alarming is that even though we've had the discussion about where we both stand, he's still timid. He's still weird about being anything other than bro-y about it. The last time I saw him, we went on this sweet date and the next day he was so uncomfortable with me. Why? Who gives a shit? Oh, apparently you do. You're writing an entire article about this guy. That's what it sounds like to me. Can someone please explain what is so scary or shameful about having feelings and being willing to express them? Yeah, I can. Yes, yes, I can. It's scary for men to express their feelings because women reject them when they do. Okay, moving on. I don't need to have 45-minute daily discussions about the fuzzy wuzzies, but I shouldn't be afraid to terrify you if I have an emotion other than horniness. Well, are you being like... A basket case are you being like explosive with your feelings because that's gonna not not terrify a man but he's definitely not gonna want to spend time around you if you're gonna do that i won't tell anyone if it's something you're embarrassed about but you are capable of having feelings aren't you yes we're just not expressing them to women because then we get rejected by the women again another another big 
block of text here. In general, it seems like there is an unwillingness for men to be men. I'm not talking about when you guys take us out and open doors. That's sweet and all, but that's not it. Yes, the reason men can't be men is because of women. Women want to be men in our modern society, and they have told men that they, uh, their feelings, their masculinity is toxic and evil. So I don't know what to tell you. I'm talking about the unwillingness to connect, to be vulnerable, to step up. I am flabbergasted by how few men will take responsibility for their emotional choices and for the damage they leave behind post-relationship. Yes, women. Women are always taking responsibility for their emotional choices and the damage they leave behind. Always. It's just like their hallmark. Can't tell you what, you know, what rocks they are. Mm -hmm. Please don't get me wrong. Women aren't innocent of dating crimes. There are women who will bail, ghost, use, cheat, manipulate, lie. People tend to suck in general, but obviously it's not everyone. I'm aware that there are men in the great wide somewhere who don't act like idiots. Otherwise, the human race would have ended centuries ago. Mm, yeah, yeah that's, that's what's keeping the human race going. <sighs> so here's my request. Surprise me. Surprise the girl you're dating. Be real. Pretend like there are TV cameras waiting with bated breath for your emotional honesty. Share like there's a million dollar commercial deal waiting at the end of the season. It might work out for you. No, it won't. Now, I can guarantee you, men, if you share your feelings, especially negative feelings with a woman, your fears, your worries, your anger, that relationship is over. Anger was a big issue for me that uh, I did not realize I had to deal with for a long time so and she signs it sincerely a bitch who seriously ain't got no time for that uh-huh <laughs> wow talk about emotionally immature that right there is emotional damage but worrying that men are or but uh complaining that men are emotionally mature do we have comments in here is there any? no of course not that would that would make sense but yeah uh this is the problem with modern dating i mean yeah there are men who are who are jerks out there but it's primarily the women who are being immature and then wondering why all the men are not uh providing them with what they want so thank you all for watching i do appreciate everybody stopping by and supporting my work especially if you've made it this far and now it's time for your palate cleanser